Slide one shows what tenement houses looked like in my neighborhood. My block is bounded by Christie, Forsyth, Canal, and Bayard Streets. It includes 39 tenement houses containing 605 different apartments for 2,781 persons. Of these, 2,315 are over five years of age and 400 are under five years of age. There are 1,588 rooms and only 264 water closets in the block. There's not one bath in the entire block. Only 40 apartments are supplied with hot water. There are 441 dark rooms, having no ventilation to the outer air and no light or air except that's derived from other rooms. There are 635 rooms getting their sole light and air from dark and narrow air shafts. During the last five years, there have been recorded 32 cases of tuberculosis from this block alone. And during the past year, 13 cases of diphtheria. During the past five years, 663 different applications for charitable relief have come from this block. We're poor. The gross rentals derived from the block amount to $113,064 a year. This block is not one of the worst in the city, but merely typical. But the people we're renting from are making money. Disease, sanitation, garbage, and hygiene issues were constant concerns in my crowded neighborhood where vital statistics were alarming. Then Jacob Reese came along. He wrote frequently to urge measures to protect public health and alert wealthy residents of the city to slum conditions that put everyone at risk. Poor water quality, filth, vermin, and compromised living conditions meant typhus and cholera outbreaks were common also, as were high rates of child mortality and tuberculosis. Rag pickers and petty thieves made city dumps their homes, while unemployed tramps lived in shack housing in back alleyways near us. When Jacob Rees published How the Other Half Lives in 1890, the U.S. Census Bureau ranked New York as the most densely populated city in the United States. 1.5 million people lived here. Rees claimed that per square mile, it was one of the most densely populated places on the planet. The Tenant House Committee of 1894, also known as the Gilder Committee, called rear tenements infant slaughterhouses, where as many as one in five babies died. Reese collaborated with health and hygiene department officials to compile and report sources of disease and seek remedies to improve public health. The picture on the left is used to illustrate a section entitled Report of Tenement House Committee. Governor Roosevelt opened this exhibition in February of 1900 in the former Sherry Building on Fifth Avenue. The opening meeting was so well attended that many people who desired to be present were unable to gain admission to the building. The exhibition was open to the general public on the following Monday, February 12th, and in that short period of two weeks was viewed by as many as 10,000 people. As a result of the exhibition and all the newspaper articles that were written about it, the governor of New York, who was also Reese's friend, Theodore Roosevelt, appointed a tenement house commission, which led in 1901 to the creation of the tenement house department, headed by another Reese friend, Robert DeForest, of the Charity Organization Society. Reese and this circle of municipal citizen reformers, which included social welfare activists Josephine Shaw Lowell and Lillian Vald, worked together to gather statistical evidence and raise public awareness. Awareness. They advocated for new housing designs to ease crowding and improve fire safety, sanitation, and access to air and light. Reese described the evolution of the tenement house reform as an effort that would take 40 years, which included demolishing the five points in Mulberry Bend neighborhoods, initiating new construction, cleaning the streets, creating parks and playgrounds, tearing down rear tenements, and cutting more than 40,000 windows through interior walls to let in light. Ultimately, the New York State Tenement House Act of 1901 was passed, and it was one of the first such laws to ban the construction of dark, poorly ventilated tenement buildings in the state of New York. And now, the place I live in is a lot better. <laughs>